It's nine o'clock Monday morning. No school today. It is staff development or professional development for the staff. I'm actually presenting today. So there's not going to be a lot of video. I just came in real quick to see my classroom it has not been destroyed. Um, the notes are still up on the board that I had for left for the sub and also for the students and all the work was returned. I would look through most of it and it seemed like the students completed most or all of the work that I left them. So that's a great thing. Seems that I had the same sub at least on Thursday. I don't know about Friday because I don't have any notes from Friday or at least notes that I can see. But other than that, I'm going to head down because I think I'm supposed to be there the first half and then I need to come back here because I'm holding one of the um, sessions. We're doing like a conference style so teachers get to pick and choose where they want to go. And I am presenting on the blend. So if you saw my last vlog, I talked about my blend canvas site briefly. And so I'm doing an expert level course on how to differentiate assignments for students within the program. So they are, the people who are presenting are hosting it, I believe, in their, their own respective rooms or in certain places on campus. So I'm hosting the session here in my classroom. So I need to get it ready, although it does, well, I don't know why there are two box. Oh, never mind. That was my marker box. Other than that, I'm gonna head out because I'm already late. So my sessions are over. I only had one person come to my first session and seven people come to the second session, which I figured because me and one of the other teachers who are leading or who led the expert sessions figured that not that many people show because most of the people who are advanced, advanced users were facilitating the sessions today. Um, so I had a great group of students, or a great group of teachers, not students. I guess in this case they were students because they were learning, if they were learning anything from me. Um, what I was showing them, I felt was very straightforward and simple, and I really just wanted to kind of have dialogue around how you can utilize the program. So that was it. It's Tuesday morning. I'm actually getting ready to do a demonstration, Elephant's Toothpaste, which I haven't done in seven years. I tried it yesterday, it was a fail because I had used hand soap. So I have my dish soap that I'm going to do with today. So I'm going to try it and see if it works out. And as a science teacher, you should always try your experiments before you do them with the students. Today, what I had my students do is we did part of our interactive notebook. I actually left my interactive notebook at home. So um, it's a great thing because some students left their interactive notebook at home and I had extra copies of the sheets there. I also did a chemical demonstration to get them excited about balancing chemical equations. They will do a physical chemical changes lab next week, mainly because my classes have been leveled somewhat and then also um, because we're doing the PSCT tomorrow, I didn't want to have things set up around in my classroom and I'm not going to have time tomorrow to set up for Thursday. Or I guess I could stay later for school Wednesday, but I'm not going to do that. So I just told my students that they would do the lab starting now that we're, I have somewhat smaller class sizes, we would do that lab um, next week so that they, they can use a Bunsen burner. Um, and I don't have to worry about too much crowding in the lab area. So at this moment, I am actually going to go home. So like last year, I got organisms in my classroom. I have Allie I actually had her two weeks, I got her two weeks ago, but I have to return her today. I actually need to hold her correctly, but I don't have anybody to hold the thing. So I'm going to go right now because I need to return her today. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna get next week. Today is a PSAT. Um, ninth graders are taking a practice PSAT in my classroom. I am the hall monitor, and I don't know how I got lucky because I'm never in the history of me teaching in all the schools. I've never been lucky enough just to have a hall monitor gig. So we are on a modified bell schedule today. So it's four hours, four hours of testing, lunch, and then each class period, first through fourth, will be 35 minutes long. I'm not really worried because my classes will be doing what we did yesterday. So mostly it will probably just be the review sub work, putting some stuff into our interactive notebook real quick. And then I probably will demo the genie in a bottle. Whoa. So today is over. Um, classes were 35 minutes 
each and so I didn't have a lot of time to do anything so they were able to put in the objectives into their interactive notebook because that was the only thing I didn't give them when they set up their notebook and they were also able to check their work from when they had the sub on Friday and then I did the little I did the little demo today with some of the students so other than that I am going Oh, cry. I'm gonna cry. We're gonna cry if this is not. Why are y'all gonna cry? Because. Oh my god, you're not frustrating this is. We have two agents that have two three. So, right now, in the process of, although I shouldn't really be doing this, cleaning out the prep room in between my room and the other classroom. Sorry, it's a mess right now. It's sort of been a mess since school started. This cabinet was locked, but I was able to find the key for it and unlock it. There's a lot of world history belongings in there. There's a classroom down at the end. It's not a science classroom um, where it's a dual credit class now. A lot of the dual credit um, courses are taught in that room there. However, there was a history teacher two years ago in this building, um, but I don't think the materials are, are hers because, first of all, they're from 2008, 2009 and I came across another teacher's name and I'm not familiar with that person. Um, but I'm in the process of taking chemicals from the other room, the other prep room, so I'm filling stuff up right now and bringing it over here because this room used to house a lot of the forensics and anatomy materials because the teacher who's in that room right there, who left mid-year last year, she taught forensics um, and anatomy went away, went to the K program about two years ago two actually four years ago and so there was just a lot of forensic stuff in here and now that the teacher who teaches forensics he teaches all forensics he's in the main building i guess like he or the custodians moved all the stuff at the beginning or at towards the end of last year actually because i remember i came in here and the cabinets were empty so it's just a lot of just empty space right now there's nothing you know i slowly was grabbing stuff and bringing stuff over but I, I need to do that now that we are getting into more i'm doing more labs with my students and i hate having to run over there each time when i can just bring chemi chemicals over here and glassware over here and not have to worry about going back and forth so right now i'm going to email the social studies teachers and say hey i have all these like world history history materials here if anybody wants them come claim them this would still multiply to this right yes okay thank you these are combustion reactions so we have c h o cho whenever you have problems like this one my recommendation is that you always do the c's first the h's and then the o's you can do it in any order however it's just in my experience, easier if you do it in that particular order. So show it up. You get me? So this was a very weird week. No school Monday, then it was PSAT on Wednesday. Thursday, I saw my B-Day again, my B-Day classes again, and so we started balancing chemical equations. They really got into doing that. Um, I gave them a sheet of just different practice problems. And the reason I did that is just because the week was a little bit weird and I didn't want them to get further ahead than my 8A classes. Um, but they like really got into doing some of those problems, especially the more challenging ones. I had a group of students that stayed um, during my second period. They stayed after the bell had rang, literally stayed almost maybe half of lunch trying to work the problems. And then they, they finally like, I, I, I gave up and they, they, they left. And it was funny because they were calling some of their friends in some of my other classes to come try to help them out. But they hadn't learned it yet because um, they were in my 8A classes. And so today I just did finish up the notes and then I did the whole balancing equations activity with them. So they grabbed whiteboards and I had them grab, I'm gonna go grab them. Um, markers and a sock. And I've always done this. Um, last year I had them, but I, and there goes my phone. So I've always done the marker in the sock. Um, I think I started doing this my third year and it just makes it easier because I don't have to pass out like something to something to erase the boards and then the marker separately everything's in there and so the students erase I bought these last year I'm um, at the beginning before school started last year I went to Walmart and I bought two packs of socks and 
students just use these. So I had them practice writing equations or showing their work on the whiteboard, but then they were transferring their act, their their answers to the worksheet. And that's all we did. It was, again, a, a, a very short, weird week, I guess short for the students anyways. Well, it's been a very short vlogging week, so I don't have many clips to show you. But other than that, if you're interested in checking out some of my other clips, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.